What's up everybody, Doc Dog went on A5. There's levels to this. I got a quick video for you guys tonight. I want to talk about um the PlayStation 5 Pro and PSSR. So there was a lot of uh conversation talking about everything that Digital Foundry is doing right now as far as seeing what the resolutions are of these games that are running on the PS5 Pro. And when you're looking at those numbers at face value, it doesn't sound impressive at all. It sounds actually pretty bad. Like some games are like at 8-something P and all that other stuff for a system or a console that's going to cost $700, right? However, I think the point might be being missed, Okay. PSSR, which is Sony's new upscaling technology, right? Which when when I hear that, I don't know how new it is when they're using AMD uh, graphics card, anyways. So I I don't I don't know if it's a different version of FSR that they're using, or maybe it is something brand new that is just exclusive to Sony, but AMD is making. I do, I don't know, but regardless, it's an upscaling technique and. NVIDIA has their own, right, with DLSS. AMD has their own. Intel has their own as well with Intel XESS, I think it's called. But here's the deal. As someone who recently started gaming on PC and I have a low-end uh, PC, my GPU is a 7600. Uh, it's an 8 gigabyte card. So I rely on upscaling a lot. Like I have my PC connected to a 4K TV. So I upscale, I run my games at 1440p and then obviously on a 4k uh, screen. So the TV fills in, you know, the pixels as best as can or whatever. But some games I can run them natively at 1440p. Some games, depending on how old they are, I can run them natively at 4k, right? Depending on how demanding you are. Like I played uh, a crab's treasure. I could play that at 4k and it would run it perfectly fine. Right now I'm playing uh, uh, Space Marines, the first one at 4k that's an older game it runs it pretty very well uh batman arkham asylum i'm playing that i can play that at 4k it runs it very well i'm playing redfall right now redfall i'm running at 4k but with fsr on fsr performance on right so again it depends um what's another game i'm playing right now too uh forza motorsport I got to run that at 1440p with FSR on quality mode. Uh, Starfield, I got to run that at 1440p FSR on, right? And sometimes I even put ge a frame generation as well. The moral of the story is this. All these technologies are there for your use, for your benefit, for you to be able to game however you want to game, which is the beauty of PC gaming. Sony using PSSR on their console is to give you what PC gamers have an option to do, but have to figure out what works best for them, right? So PSSR's goal is to hopefully give you the best image possible with the best frames possible in a console-like delivery, right? So I haven't tried PSSR, I haven't used a PS5 Pro, but I can tell you this, okay? When it comes to resolution, you can either see when something is clear or it's not clear. It's almost as if you were to have a 1080p uh, game running on a 4K TV that's 55 inches or whatever. It's not that the game looks bad, it's that it's almost like there's a film over the game. But then when you put it at 1440p, that same game then becomes pretty clear. Now at 4K, if you really look, and here's the key, right? If you really look, you could definitely see the difference. Today I was playing uh, Apex Legends on my PC on my 4K TV, which is a 55 inch. And I showed my son what it looks like running at native 4K because Apex Legends, a lot of these first person shooters, multiplayers are very well optimized. So I'm playing Apex Legends on this low end PC at 4K, right? And it looks, it does look beautiful. It is crazy, crazy sharp. Like it looks really, really sharp, really good detail, everything, right? At 4K. But when I drop down to 1440p, you can only tell if you really, really looked. And at that point, if I didn't tell him that I dropped, he wouldn't have been able to tell. If I didn't know what it is that I dropped myself, I wouldn't have been able to tell, just being honest. What you can tell the most, as soon as you pick up a controller, 
is frames. Frames are real easy to tell. Now, if you're going to jump from 4K to 1080p, yes, I think the average person can see the difference in a game from 4K to 1080p if you were to ask them what's, you know, what's blurrier or whatever, or what's clearer or whatever. But if you're going to ask someone what's smoother, 30 frames or 60, I the 95% of people are, are going to be able to tell the difference. Even those that say they can't tell the difference, I promise you when you actually try it, you're going to be able to tell the difference if you play the same game at 30 and then play that same game at 60. So if PSSR's goal is to make the game look as sharp as possible but also give you 60 frames, then I don't I don't see the reason for knocking it when PC gamers have been using upscaling and we embrace upscaling and we embrace, embrace DLSS and we embrace um, FSR and I mean at this point we're at FSR 3 point something you know what I mean and if you're a person that only plays all your games natively cool good for you I'm glad that you have a, a powerful enough graphics card to do that but I wouldn't knock in the upscaling technique I, 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 I just wouldn't especially when that works so when the PlayStation Pro comes out, we're going to get to see how well this thing upscales. And even if you look at videos of FSR and DLSS, most, most people will tell you that DLSS currently works better than FSR. It looks sharper. But even then, sometimes when people talk about FSR and DLSS and they're talking about the flaws on it, they got to zoom in to show you the flaws. When you're playing the game, if you're just playing the game, I mean, you might not know any better. It might just be clear. So again, PlayStation 5 with PSSR and Upscaler, I don't think that should be the, the negative critique. I think if you're going to negatively critique the PS5 Pro, the proper thing to say is what games are being made for this, because so far they haven't showed any games for this, right? But maybe that changes all tomorrow. And um, number two is... Sony should probably come out and say, what is the, the, the target native resolution of this? Because upscaling does work better when you're upscaling from, let's say, 1440p to 4K. That works better than if you're upscaling from 720p to 4K. Like, come on now. You know what I mean? Um, the best way you could do that if you have an AMD card is you can use RSR. So you can drop the the in-game resolution to 720p and then the driver will go ahead and upscale it to the native resolution of your screen and then there you'll see it upscale from like 720p to 4k or 1080p to 4k or stuff like that but when it's like 1440p to 4k it still looks it still looks incredible because again 1440p still looks really really good so i think sony knows that most of these playstation pros are going to be connected to 4k tvs so that's where, okay, what is the native resolution that this thing is targeting that's trying to upscale from? Because upscaling from 800 something to 4K, so far, I don't think we've seen an upscaler that has been great or tremendous. But who knows? Maybe Sony is the one that figured it out with AMD. And that's the other part that I'm confused because if AMD has this technology, why wouldn't they use it on PC as well? Maybe it is the same technology and we're just being bamboozled which at that point they're just trying to steal our money <sighs> i don't know man i don't know i know that uh right now sony's in a state where they need to figure out a way to get more people into their into their um what's it called uh ecosystem but more importantly they need to figure out how to get people to play and buy their games versus buying third-party games and even worse, the competition's games. Because it is what it is. Black Ops 6 is coming. Doc Dog went on a five. There's levels to this. Stop talking bad about PSSR. Who knows? It might be good. We out. Peace.